Hoodlums, my name is Armadrillo and today we have everything about Futrod. Futrod is the Omnitrix's DNA sample of an unknown species from an unknown planet. Futrod has the appearance of a mechanical humanoid in a green outfit, with the exception of his head and shoulders being a bluish-purple color. He has four fingers on each hand, which are apparently gloved. Like water hazard, he has nozzles, openings, from which he can eject gas. He has two on both of his arms, one on each of his shoulders, three on the rim in between his shoulders, three on his head, one on his back and one in the center of his posterior. He has a belt with a window on his stomach so that the gas he uses can be seen. Futrot wears the Omnitrix symbol on what appears to be some kind of gas mask in front of his mouth. Mega Ben's Futrot looks the same as Prime Ben's but his skin is pink. His eyes are gray, his outfit is pale blue and his Omnitrix symbol is also gray. Futrot has a cynical sense of humor and speaks with a gruff tone. Futrot's innards contain various gaseous elements, making him a walking chemical laboratory. Futrot has the ability to make compounds of almost any type and expel them as gas from the various nozzles on his body for both offense and defense. Such gases include the following. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is a highly combustible and toxic gas with a very pungent smell that can be used as a form of tear gas. Nitrous oxide, commonly known as laughing gas. Laughing gas can be used to incapacitate an opponent by making them laugh uncontrollably. Chloromethyl hexafluoroisopropyl ether, also known as sevoflurane. Sevoflurane is normally used as an anesthetic, but it is also useful as a knockout gas with short-term memory loss as a side effect. Tocustar pheromone. This gas can attract a tocustar, causing it to follow Gutrot where he wishes to direct it. One of the gases he can use has acidic properties. The strength of these gases depends on the amount expelled and their chemical makeup. Futrot also has a very advanced knowledge of chemistry as well as the effects the gases would do to someone. This knowledge seems to be innate since Ben as Futrot said not to ask how he knew, indicating that like when he turns into gray matter or brainstorm, he may not fully understand what he is doing from his personal view. Furthermore, he also seems very intelligent in general, as he was discussing the ramifications of time travel with Rook and Spanner, as well as explaining that hitting someone on the head would simply result in a concussion rather than amnesia. Futrit's use of pheromone gas also demonstrates some degree of biological knowledge, given that he understood a species enough to create a gas that specifically targeted it. When Gutrot uses his gas, it makes a large cloud, which is susceptible to prevailing winds. This can endanger innocent bystanders. Some of Gutrit's gases are flammable, so he must be careful in situations that might ignite them. Opponents who are effectively shielded are immune to Gutrit's gases, mainly through the use of a gas mask or insulation. Gutrot made his first appearance in Animo Crackers. Gutrot defeated both Animos. In Weapon 11, Part 2, Gutrot used a pheromone to lure two way bads to the rooter's base. He later attempted to battle Kevin but was reverted back when Kevin absorbed power from the Omnitrix. In Breedlemania, Gutrot was used to stop the Kraken, but the pretty boy Breedla stopped it for him. In A New Dawn, Gutrot appeared for a short time when Ben was cycling through his aliens. Gutrot's name is a reference to, Rotgut, a name shared by several fictional characters. Rotgut is also a Prohibition-era slang term for homemade alcoholic beverages, in reference to his power to mix chemicals inside himself. Gut rot is also a slang for stomachache. Gutrot is based on the Pokémon Coughing, which is Derek J. Wyatt's favorite Pokémon. This makes Gutrot the second alien to resemble or be based on Coughing, the first being Ultimate Gravitax Mini Planetoids. Technically speaking, Ben didn't name Gutrot until the future Animo told him what the alien's name was. Ironically, chemistry is one of Ben's weaker subjects, though Gutrot seems to be an expert on it, as shown in Animo Crackers. Be sure to like and subscribe or you're a racist.